guys, welcome back to the channel. So today guys, you're gonna be working on the 335 again. Yeah, I know, but why isn't it called the rebuild? Well, it's not a rebuild. It's more like modifying, you know? Now the front end of this car is perfectly intact. The bumper is perfectly fine. The headlights, everything is fine, but you know, it's all gotta go. It's just, just this car, I don't know why. I, I, I'm, it, it just looks like my 330i. And I need to make sure this doesn't look like my 330i. So you know your boy has got the LCI bumper, and yeah, today is the day we're gonna be installing this bad boy, which means we're gonna be installing all these other pieces, the grills on top of grills, on top of fogs, on top of side markers, on top of little pieces, some more grills. Got all kinds of stuff. It's all laying around over here, you know. We got, and I, I went out with smoked. I went with smoked, you know, side markers. Those are one of you guys sent it out to me, so shout out to you guys. Um, I actually still forgot to put his Instagram name in the back of the car, so I have to do that. Yeah, we're going all out today. So the whole purpose of me actually doing this before I actually do headlight and brake, and I was gonna do this, I was gonna do headlight and brake before I actually do all this, mainly because uh, the fog lights. Uh, when I did the retrofit in the other car, I did have an issue with the connectors, but I watched Justin Buse's video and he told me these are the right ones. So, taking his word for it, we're gonna go ahead, do the conversion. I have future plans for these headlights. We're gonna be purchasing um, some super sick ones off of eBay. The updated ones, the V2s from the last ones I had on the 330i. Yusuf is here, we took him on a little bit of a drive. So how was the drive, Yusuf? It drives amazing, the pool is insane. And, uh, <laughs> Were you expecting it, honestly? No, to be honest, it's a huge difference from the stock one and the, you know, after the tune. Now, we didn't drive it much when we were um, before the tune and before the intakes, but I can definitely see the difference. So, shout out to Burger Tuning again. I know I keep mentioning them, but I can't thank them enough. This stuff's amazing. The car is amazing. Let's go ahead and make it look as good as it drives. So, this is the bumper, guys. We're going to go ahead and bring out all the other attachments. Just like the street lights lit this Alright guys, we got everything here. We're gonna go ahead and assemble it all on the bumper. Hopefully everything fits OEM. And then we're gonna go ahead and assemble it all on the car. So, um, we're gonna assemble the bumper first. We're gonna go ahead and clean it, assemble it. Uh, fog lights are smoked out. Side markers are smoked out. So this should be like a very nice looking bumper. And the reason why I got all this smoked out, because down the road, you guys are about to see the wrap that I'm gonna have in this car. It's gonna be absolutely killer. All right guys, so um, we just realized that the fog lights are missing a bracket. I don't really care, I'll retrofit it anyways because that bracket is again not worth it. I ended up spending 150 on every single part, you know, for this bumper and I spent around 150 on the bumper. That's already pretty much the price of how much I could have got it brand new. So instant regret there, it's whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and take off this bumper, see how the bracket works and just maybe retrofit it onto this one. We will see, we're just gonna take this bumper off and get rid of it and then throw on the new bumper and just work with what we have. We already made a thousand videos on how to remove a bumper, so we're just gonna do a time lapse. Hi right, guys, well my brother and my cousin are trying to jack up the car and let off the rim. Basically we're taking off the rim so we can move the weather guard and actually get to the bumper a lot easier. Alright guys, so we just put on the new fog lights, we just zip tied it because it didn't come with the bracket. That's why you guys should get your bumpers, you know, as a whole. Um, so, you know, what are you gonna do? That's whatever. We did get the conversion cable, the adapter. Uh, I'll link that down below if you guys are actually gonna be doing the M Sport conversion. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. We're gonna go ahead, cut the, these off, and then go ahead and put it on the bumper, I mean, put it on the car. Um, yeah, see how it looks. Put your guard down, girl, we know you ain't easy, you know 